hello everybody and welcome back to my channel i have literally just got back from the doctors and uh for those of you who don't know that are new around here um i've had this little spot can you see it there i've had that on my nose for about two years and um if you have been following me for a while you know that i've been back and forward to the doctors and things about it and it's still not gone so i swapped doctors and um I finally got an appointment and he was amazing. Like I was going in there all fired up, ready just to get it out about how terrible everything was. And he was brilliant. He said that this one on my neck uh, there, he said, that's nothing. Don't worry about it. It's nothing. And he said this because it's quite hard. He said um, he doesn't think it's anything. But um, he said, what would you like to, ha to, to happen? What would you like the outcome to be? And I said, look, I really want to see somebody. I really want someone just to say yes or no so I can just move on. And he said, right, I can request it. But he says dermatologists are very sort of, mm, they're a law unto themselves, basically. They can say yes or no. But he's going to request it that I actually see someone face to face. So that was brilliant. And he looked through all my notes. He, I didn't feel rushed, you know, I felt listened to and... He was actually retired, bless him, and he only does two days a week. So I was like, so he knew what he was on about because he's done it all his life. I was like, um, what, if I book again, can I see you? And he's like, yeah, I'm here on a Monday and a Friday. So yeah, I'm so happy. Because um, like I say, I was ready to just go, rah. And he was like, he was lovely. lovely. Well, he wasn't like, he wasn't like overly nice or anything, but he was professional. He, he knew what he was on about. And, I, and he also gave me some more of these because of my heads. So I've been waiting for them for ages. So he just literally said, right, they're sent through. So he was brilliant. He, he, I'm feeling very happy about that. So that's my little um, health update on that. But I feel a bit of a weight off because he said he doesn't think it's anything. Obviously, he can't guarantee it. There's no guarantees in life, is there? But yeah, he said that he thinks it's nothing. So that's made me feel a bit better. Anyway, but I didn't say about all my tiredness and my premenopause because the time, you know, I couldn't just get it all out. So I am going to just uh, do another e-consult and request him and, yeah, see if he could sort it out for me. But anyway, I've um, today I'm doing a sort of clean of all my things in my kitchen, my fridge, my oven. I'll turn you around and you can see. If you hear anything, it's just Maya's bedding in the... Um washing machine so sorry about that yeah last night i had to do this because it's this um let's see if it's still in yeah i use this i think it's under two pound in home bargains and you get like this bag and the solution and uh, the gloves here but yeah, i have to do it at night so i did it last night i took all the racks out the oven put them in here i emptied half the bottle of the solution in here and i've just been turning it around so they look pretty clean and in here i pour the rest of the the rest of the solution because look i spilt cheese on it last night so i had to do it and if you put cling the little tip here if you put cling film on once you put the solution on and leave it overnight it doesn't dry out so i'll be doing that um i am cleaning my washing machine if i've got cleaner cleaning my dishwasher because it's got it's already got dishes clean in it but look at look at that and look at all the sides and things so yeah that needs cleaned and also what needs my microwave needs cleaned look at that <laughs> god and this needs cleaned yeah so it's the fridge the dishwasher the washing machine the oven and the microwave today so it's a sort of a bit of a start on my spring cleaning my kitchen because once all that's done then it, it really will be a big thing so I'm going to get started on this now. I'm just going to get it all rinsed and all wiped down. So let's start on the oven now. Did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest. I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me Let me be real here When I see you my heart starts racing But I don't know if I like this chasing And playing and waiting around It's a shame that my hands start shaking 
if you have never ever got one of these kits before to clean your oven then you are honestly missing out it is so simple to do it like the, there's lots of different uh, brands but this one works just like the most expensive one oven pride the most expensive one i think is and that's that's really quite dear and it does this does exactly the same job like i said i got it from home bargains but they are so good like you never need to worry about cleaning your oven again. I still hate it. I still hate the job. Um, if you've watched any of my videos before, you'll notice that I do give it a wipe down every so often um, to keep it sort of... I don't do this often. Twice a year, maybe. But trust me to wear white as I'm cleaning the oven. I mean, only me can do that. <laughs> But like I say, you literally just leave it overnight and it's it's so simple, it just comes off. However, it did leave a few, there is a few marks on there, but this oven is like quite old. So, you know, I suppose it's to be expected really. But yeah, honestly, go and get one of these kits if you're dreading doing your oven. Also, in a minute, I've never took this door off. I never knew how to. So I watched a YouTube video and I managed to take... Sorry, not the door, the screen, the glass screen. I watched a YouTube video and I learned how to do it. So thank God for YouTube, as always. I think the worst bit about cleaning the oven is all the little tiny cracks that you just can't get in and there's loads of little bits of food and things. That's what takes me so long to get into all the little cracky bits. Oh, it drives me up the wall. Um, but I just want to say thank you to you guys for... Um, all your recommendations on me being like tired and things a lot of you have said it's the weather which I totally do agree with you I think that's got a massive thing to do with it like I've said before I think I do have a bit of that seasonal um depression to be honest I think we all do the winter's really really dragging now for me anyway because I'm I proper love the summer and um just a quick one like I said in my last video I've noticed that so many people that watch my videos aren't actually subscribed so if you just um pause the video now and just click the subs click the subscribe button it honestly it will mean the world to me and it doesn't cost you anything because I'm so close to 2,000 su subscribers god I can't get my words out today so close to 2,000 subscribers so um yeah please please click the subscribe button if you do like my content and uh, yeah that would be great Right, thank you. Okay, so that is the inside now. Still got a few little marks on it, but they're always there. But that looks a lot better. Uh, don't worry, that's underneath that stain. It's not there. So yeah, I'm just going to do the outside of it now. But that does look better than what it did. Let me know what you think. And then I'm going to move on to the washing machine. Hey, don't you look at me like that When you break my heart like that Like you're feeling sorry
get one chance, one chance You, you will never regret The things that we'll do Cause I, I, wanna try Alright, on to the washing machine now uh, To be honest, my little tray thing wasn't too bad Because I did, did clean it out not so long ago So that was okay um yeah just let me know as well in the comments how you guys are this week if you've had a good week and what you've been up to because i love chatting to you guys in the comments and um like i say if you guys are ever needing to chat about anything i'm here for you because you guys say the loveliest things to me and i know that i can chat to you guys about anything and you're so unjudgmental and everything so i'm so grateful to have you here and so if you ever need me, I am here too, without a shadow of a doubt. I'm always here. So yeah, I'm just going to, um, that in the water is just a bit of bleach and some washing up liquid. And I actually got a new scrub mummy today, which you can see there. And it is, oh my God, I've never really, I'm sure I've had one before, but I never really used it. But now it's brilliant. I, will, I don't think I'll ever go back to anything else. As you'll see throughout the rest of the clean, I use it literally throughout the whole kitchen. You are not going to believe what's happened. I literally have just lost the footage of me putting the things back in there, putting the cleaner in, everything. What I did was in here, in the main drum, I poured some um, of this bicarb soda in the main drum. And then I also put, <coughs> excuse me, some of that in the main drum as well. And then I cleaned all the soap dispenser drawers you'd have seen. I put it back. And in the soap dispenser drawer, I put that, my dishwasher cleaner. That smells lovely. It smells like a um, snow fairy. So, and then I turned it on to like a 90 degree wash. And so that's going down. I've just got to dry it all now because I've obviously I wiped it. So I'm just drying it all now. And then I'm on to the dishwasher. Look how clean the oven looks. So you can actually see me through it. That's amazing, isn't it? So yeah, I'm so sorry about that, guys. I'm so annoyed. I was like, oh no. Pay no attention to the floor because obviously that's from the oven. So that's another job done. So just wipe it down and then we're on to the dishwasher. Hello, how'd you do? I'm not broken, I'm just split in two. Hope you're fine. Ain't got time to do everything you said you would. Frames of the past and the memory of you just come running by Pictures of sunny days With your smile and the bar How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them How could they say I was broken? I'm done. 
hope that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them oh. How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them How'd you do? I'm not broken, I'm just split in two Hope you're fine, ain't got time I'm not broken, not broken, not broken I just wanna hold you I just wanna look into your eyes And tell you that I want you You know you make me feel so alive Can't stop thinking about you day and night Love it when you kiss me, love it when we touch Every time I'm down here yeah, you make me smile You're the solution Okay, so update, I've got that cleaning, that as you can hear, cleaning, that is clean. I now have to do my microwave and my fridge and then we're done. But look at the state of the kitchen. Oh, hang on, let me turn you around. I've got a little update for you, one sec. Okay, I'm sorry, I've just remembered. Sorry about the state of me, <laughs> I've been cleaning all day. Uh, I've got, oh, sorry about the, Thing in the back, my telly in the back. Look at what I've got. You ready for my new ring? It came, oh, so I've got to try and fix it. The only problem, there's got one slight problem. It doesn't fit with my other ring, but you ready? Ta-da! Isn't it gorgeous? But as you can see, it doesn't fit with that one. It's all, it looks a bit funny. So I don't know what to do about that, but it's where that, that one's still quite a little bit big but you have to tell me if you like it, what you think of it, I love it. I do actually really love it. When I opened the box, I was like, oh my God, I love it. So I'm happy with that. And I also got, not that this is even remotely as exciting as a new ring, but I got these bottles to put my lemon and ginger shots in. So I'm gonna do, um, obviously I will show them you how I do them because I've never done them before. So fingers crossed how they work out. So yeah, I hope you like my ring anyway. I just thought I'd I was gonna show you in a sort of day in the life vlog, but I thought, oh no, I'll do it now. So I've got my ring and now I need my nails done, but I'll, I'll have to wait till Monday because as usual, look at the weather. Raining, raining. So yeah, let's um, do this microwave and fridge then and then we're done, thank God.
nights and late nights don't get around But there's something about you, something about you I like, about you I like You're crazy for saying I should slow down But maybe I'm escaping the love we found There's something about you, something about you I like, about you I like Get too drunk and too scared and lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us, gotta say the obvious Nobody loves me better, nobody loves me better Nobody loves me better Guess I'm just to settle down There'd be many nights I got too high And almost left town But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like I get too drunk and too scared And lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us Gotta say the obvious Okay, so that is literally everything cleaned. The washing machine's cleaned. The dishwasher's clean, the oven's clean, the microwave clean, the fridge is clean. So now I've just got to sort of tidy up and mop the floor and stuff, these little bits. I just wanted to show you the touches of sort of spring I've put in the kitchen. Obviously, I need to do a spring clean part two because I need to sort out all the cupboards and pull this table out and things. But look what I got. I didn't get the silver dish, obviously, I've had that for ages, but I got these little flowers. These are from Timu. I got um, three in a pack. How lovely are they? They're proper springy. And I also got these, like, um, LED candles. I'll turn them on in a minute and show you. But how cute are they? They, they were, like, £17, which is quite dear. And they take three batteries each, which is quite a lot. But they are absolutely lovely when they're lit. So I'll show you it all when it's all done. So I'm just going to, yeah, um... Sort out the rest of the kitchen and then thank God I'm going to be done. I'm gonna run from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. Pride. That's where I never thought it would matter. If I'm gone by now.
Right, that is it done. Like I say, I've not, I'm have not. i going to do a spring clean part two because I'm going to sort out all my cupboards and things, but I couldn't fit it all in this video. It'd just be so long. So, and um, yeah, tell me what you think. That's all clean. It does feel better knowing all my... Mind you, I don't want to cook anything now because <laughs> I'm just like, no, please don't use my nice oven. So yeah, that's it. All done. Yeah, so I hope this has given you some motivation to uh, crack on with your um, appliances. Um, if you do like this um, video, please give it a big thumbs up and please, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see everyone in my next video. Bye everybody.